I'm Simon Davis. Uh, today I'm going to play for you the guitar solo from Cold Cold Change by Midnight Oil. And I'll play it through firstly and then we'll break it down bit by bit. which is the ninth fret of the D string, and we play it three times. Then eighth fret of the G string. Seventh fret of the B string. Eighth fret of the B string. So you can um, embellish that opening bit, the three notes, the uh, three hits on the um, B note. You can slide into it. that to you. We'll play uh, next, uh, the same lick is repeated. Uh, <clears throat> next phrase. Okay, so this is 8th fret B string down to 6B. Then 8th of G, 7G. Back up six to eight on the B, and then slide up to the ninth fret of the B string, eighth fret of the B string, eight back to nine. Okay, so the whole thing slowly. Again, you can uh, embellish that. I think on the record or when he plays it live, there's a bit of a flick on that first little sequence on the eighth and the sixth of the B string. So it's instead of it's something like that. Six eight six. You can play around with that or eight six eight six. Okay, uh, you can play around with it. But the basic notes. Um, uh, I'll just go through slowly again. Next phrase. So this again starts on the 8th fret of the B string. Down to 6. Then 8 on the G string. Then we slide up to 11 on the B, 10 on the B, 11 on the B, 12 on the B, 11 on the B, 12, 11, 12. Okay, so slowly. Okay. Next lick, uh, next phrase, we go down to uh, the fifth uh, fret of the D string um, and we're going to play a lick that's reminiscent of what we played at the opening of the solo um, and it goes like this. <laughs> reminiscent of the opening phrase but not exactly the same so three hits on the G note which is the fifth fret of the D string one on uh, the fourth fret of the G string then once on the third fret of the B string 
then we're going to slide up to seventh fret of the B string. Okay, so whole thing again. Okay, next phrase. So this one is eight to six on the B string. Sorry, seven to five on the B string. Then eight, seven, eight on the G string. Then um, five on the B and five on the E. Seven on the B, and then resolve it on eight of the B. Okay, again, slowly that phrase. Okay, then back down to um, our G note, fifth fret of the D string. So that's three notes, three hits on the fifth fret of the D string. Once on the fourth fret of the G string. Then third fret of the B string. And then we slide into the sixth fret of the B string. Absolutely great. Um, then we go down and play this chord shape down on the second fret. It's it's basically an A chord barred across. We're barring across the um, uh, D string second fret, G string second fret, and B second fret. And uh, we play one um, upstroke. And I I really think you best to play it just playing the. Um, playing the G and the D strings uh, but playing them uh, together like that an upstroke and then a slide the whole thing up one fret so okay so that's all it is a slide from the A uh, from the second second fret an A shape up to the third fret an A shape okay and it happens three times then we just hold um, uh, that A shape on the third fret which is a B flat chord basically and this time we're going to play down strokes uh, the D and the G string um, three times, so. Okay, so the whole thing, the whole sequence of the chord thing is this. And then we have this um, terrific little uh, lick of a uh, little run of notes played on the second fret. Um, again, uh, probably the way to play it is just bar across the second fret, and, but you're holding down all of the, um, all of the high four string, the four high strings, the G string, G, B and E. So you want to hold all of them down. And what we're going to do is play, um, play them backwards. Uh, play the E string first then the B, and then the G, okay, and then uh, with the little pinky stretched up there you can play the fifth fret of the B string, come back down and it's the second fret of the B string, and second fret of the uh, D string, oops, second fret of the G string. Um, what we're looking for is this. 
high E. B. G. Then B string 5th fret. B string 2nd fret. G string 2nd fret. Then um, uh, the last thing that happens in the solo is simply a slide of that bar, barred A shape up to the 3rd fret. And that hangs for So that whole uh, ending phrase, you just play the whole thing with the bar across the second fret. So again, slowly. And let the notes run into one another. for listening thanks for tuning in um, please press the like button um, if you feel minded to um, and thanks for uh, listening and uh, if you have any questions or comments please feel free to post them thanks a lot